A few days later, I heard the news. Mark was dead. He had been found in his apartment, brutally murdered. It's been hard to sleep since that night, and talking about it might help. This all started at a house party a few weeks ago. My friend, Sarah, was throwing this big get-together at her place. Sarah's parties are usually chill, with many friends and good times. I'd been looking forward to it all week, just hanging out, drinking, and catching up with people I hadn't seen. It was supposed to be a fun night. The evening I started great. I got there around 7 p.m., and people were already mingling and having a good time. Sarah's house was pretty packed, and the music was blasting. I grabbed a drink and started chatting with some friends. It was one of those nights where everything felt perfect. Everyone was laughing, dancing, and enjoying themselves. Around 9 p.m., I noticed a guy I hadn't seen before. He was standing by himself near the kitchen, looking kind of lost. He had short black hair and was wearing a leather jacket that stood out. He seemed out of place like he didn't know anyone there. I figured he might be a friend of a friend, so I decided to go over and introduce myself. Hey, I'm Laura, I said, trying to be friendly. He smiled a little and said, Hi, I'm Mark. Nice to meet you. We started talking, and I found out he had just moved to the area and didn't know many people yet. He seemed nice, and we hit it off pretty quickly. I introduced him to some of my friends, and soon he was laughing and having a good time with everyone. It felt good to help someone feel welcome. As the night went on, the party got wilder. More people showed up, and the living room turned into a dance floor. Mark and I ended up dancing together, and it was a blast. I could tell he was having a great time, and so was I. We were surrounded by people, the music was loud, and the energy was incredible. At some point, I noticed a girl standing in the corner of the room, just staring at us. She looked rough, with messy hair and a scruffy appearance. Her clothes were dirty and she had this intense look in her eyes. It made me feel uneasy. I pointed her out to Mark, and he frowned. That's my neighbor, Emily, he said. She's, well, she's kind of weird. I don't know her that well, but she's always around. I didn't think much of it at the time. There are always a few oddballs at parties, right? I figured she was just one of those people. But something about the way she was watching us made me feel uneasy. I kept an eye on her, just in case. Around midnight, the party started to wind down. People were either leaving or passed out on the couches. Mark and I were sitting on the back porch, talking and laughing. It was nice to get away from the noise for a bit. He seemed a little tipsy, but so was I. We were having a great time. That's when Emily showed up. She walked out onto the porch and stood there, staring at us again. It was creepy. I tried to ignore her, but she didn't move. Mark looked uncomfortable. Hey, Emily, what's up? He asked, trying to sound casual. She didn't say anything at first, just kept staring. Then she mumbled something I couldn't quite hear. Mark stood up, looking annoyed. Emily, you're being weird. Go home, he said. Emily just stood there, her eyes locked on Mark. It was like she didn't even see me. I got up and stepped between them, trying to defuse the situation. Hey, maybe you should head home. The party's pretty much over, I said, trying to sound calm. Emily finally looked at me, and I saw something in her eyes that made my skin crawl. It was like she was on something, not quite there. She mumbled something again, but it was too quiet to make out. 
Then she turned and walked away, disappearing into the night. Mark sighed with relief. Sorry about that. She's just... I don't know. She's always around, and it's kind of creepy. We went back inside and decided to call it a night. I offered to walk him home, but he insisted he'd be fine. We exchanged numbers and promised to hang out again soon. I watched him leave, feeling a bit worried but hoping he'd be okay. The next day, I couldn't stop thinking about Emily. There was something off about her, and it bugged me. I decided to check in on Mark, just to make sure he was okay. I texted him a few times, but he didn't respond. I figured he might be busy or hungover, so I didn't push it. A few days later, I heard the news. Mark was dead. He had been found in his apartment, brutally murdered. I couldn't believe it. My mind was racing, trying to piece together what had happened. I felt sick to my stomach, and I couldn't shake the image of Emily from my mind. The police started investigating, and it didn't take long for them to arrest Emily. She had a history of drug abuse and mental health issues. The night of the party, she had been high on something and had followed Mark home. She broke into his apartment and... I can't even bring myself to describe what she did. It was horrific. I felt a mix of anger and guilt. Maybe if I had insisted on walking him home, things would have been different. Maybe if I had done something more at the party, he'd still be alive. It's hard not to blame myself, even though I know it's not my fault. Mark's death shook our entire group of friends. We all struggled to come to terms with what happened. It's hard to believe that someone we barely knew could do something so horrible. The party that was supposed to be a fun night turned into a nightmare none of us will ever forget. I've been to a few parties since then, but I'm always on edge, looking over my shoulder, wondering if another Emily is lurking in the shadows. I don't think I'll ever feel completely safe again. It's a harsh reminder that you never really know who you're dealing with, even in a place that feels familiar and safe. Thank you for watching this true and tragic story of a night that started with fun but ended in horror. It's a chilling reminder of how quickly things can go wrong and how we can never truly know the people around us. If you found this story compelling, please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more real-life events that will leave you speechless. Don't forget to hit the notification bell so you never miss an upload. We want to hear your thoughts. Have you ever experienced something that made you question your safety? Share your stories in the comments below, let's support each other and spread awareness. Stay safe, be aware of your surroundings, and always look out for one another. Until next time, take care.